Hey, hello. Welcome to Science Chaporus. In this video, we're going to see about primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. So as we have seen earlier in the previous video about metabolism and metabolites, uh, we know that metabolites has been classified into two. One is primary and another one is secondary based on their role in the living system. Okay, so first move on to, we'll move on to primary metabolites. Yeah, so primary metabolites, these are the substances required for the basic metabolic processes. So you can uh, uh, like in a very simplified way, the chemical compounds required for the basic metabolic processes. So what are these basic metabolic processes? Let us try to understand. Okay, so photosynthesis, which is taking place in the plants, respiration, which is taking place in plants as a, and as well as animals and protein and lipid metabolism okay so all these are basic metabolic processes okay so like few of the basic metabolic processes i have listed it down okay i have not listed don't think that only photosynthesis respiration protein and lipid metabolism are the metabolic processes happening in the uh, living system not like that few of them i have listed it down okay and what are the primary metabolites involved it is enzymes amino acids vitamins so under enzymes i have got some examples like protease lipase peroxidase and amino acids these are the names of the amino acids okay like prolin and leucine and uh, vitamins vitamin a and vitamin c the name of vitamin a is retinol and the name of vitamin c is ascorbic acid okay so what i have done here is i have listed down few primary metabolites and few examples for it okay so <clears throat> now let us take any particular example and we will try to understand how exactly this particular uh, metabolites are <clears throat> uh, required for the basic metabolic processes okay yes so moving on to the next one yes yeah so this is the structure okay proline is an amino acid uh, i have given the structure of proline and ascorbic acid is nothing but vitamin c i have given the chemical structure for ascorbic acid now let us consider a particular example like protease okay so and protease is an enzyme that catalyzes proteolysis okay catalyzes proteolysis so what is mean by proteolysis we need to understand okay so proteolysis is nothing but the breakdown of proteins into smaller amino acids okay in a very simplified way uh, we can divide this term okay proteo proteo is nothing but proteins okay lysis is nothing but breakdown okay so protein is being broken down in the presence of protease fine so this is a basic metabolic process happening in the living system. So for that, you need a primary metabolite protease, okay, where proteins are being broken down, okay, into smaller amino acids. We know that, okay. So the second one is amino acids again, okay. So now when I'm considering amino acids like histidine, lysine, leucine, valin, etc., like there are different amino acids, okay. Now when I'm considering amino acids, how can I tell it can be uh, involved in the basic metabolic processes? It's nothing but formation of proteins where different amino acids will be combining together, where different amino acids will be combining together and it forms a, it forms the protein. Okay. The third one is vitamins. Okay. Under vitamin, I have taken a particular example, retinol. Okay, so vitamin has got like generally vitamins have got different functions, right? So including uh, uh, maintaining the healthy vision, Gender, uh, particularly this for retinol, which is nothing but vitamin A, uh, the functions of vitamin A, including maintaining healthy vision, ensuring the normal function of your immune system and organs and aiding the proper growth and development of babies in the womb of mother. So these are the uh, basic functions of vitamin A. So vitamins are considered under primary metabolites. Okay. Now moving on to the secondary metabolites. The thing here is you need to understand why these are considered under 
primary metabolites that is very important okay because these are involved in the basic metabolic processes right so protein and lipid metabolism so when i tell protein metabolism it it can be either formation of protein or breaking down of protein so protease is involved in the breaking down of protein okay so now moving on to the next one it is secondary metabolites where this does not show any direct function in growth and development of the organisms okay this is not going to show any direct function okay so when it, let us uh, take some examples and let us try to understand so secondary metabolites like alkaloids essential oils toxins drugs and polymeric substances so these are few secondary metabolites i have listed it down and examples for it so for alkaloids it is morphine okay so morphine was the first alkaloid to be found okay morphine was the first alkaloid to be found and it was derived from or it can be it, it was extracted from opium poppy okay this is a plant okay the name of the plant is opium uh, poppy from where the alkaloid morphine was extracted first okay and uh, the essential oils like we get rose oil from the rose plant uh, like the flower rose and toxins toxins are nothing but the poisonous substances so one of the example is abrin which is being produced by rosary pea the name of the plant is rosary pea and uh, drugs like caffeine is uh from where we will be able to get uh, caffeine from coffee beans cocaine from cocoa plant and polymeric substances such as cellulose okay so cellulose will be present in the cell wall of plant cells and rubber so we get rubber from rubber tree the scientific name of rubber tree one of the rubber trees is hevea brasiliensis okay hevea brasiliensis now we have got different secondary metabolites and we have even seen some examples now whatever the examples we have seen all these are just produced by the plants okay they are not involved in any important metabolic processes okay and they are not showing any direct uh, development or growth of a particular plant right so if morphine is not being produced by the plant nothing is going to happen it's not that all the plants will be able to produce alkaloids only few plants will be able to produce some of the alkaloids right all the plants will not be able to produce oil so they are not involved in any basic or important metabolic processes okay so that's why they are considered like they are yeah uh yes so that's why they are considered like they don't show any direct function okay these are the compounds just produced by the plants that's it okay and this uh, like these compounds or these uh, products are used for various purposes fine okay now we'll let us see few uh, structure for morphine this is the chemical structure so this morphine will be produced by opium poppy that's it okay they are not involved in any breaking down or formation of a particular compound cellulose which is present in the cell wall of the plants caffeine with from uh, like from uh, coffee beans we get caffeine right so that's it so this is all about primary metabolites and secondary metabolites i have listed it down few primary metabolites and secondary metabolites and i have given some examples the important thing you need to understand is why a particular chemical compound is coming under primary metabolite why it is coming under secondary metabolite okay so now it is assessment time where okay the first question enzymes comes under secondary primary tertiary so enzymes will be coming under primary metabolite which of the following is an amino acid carbohydrate lipids valine nitric acid it is valine what is the name of vitamin a pyridoxin retinol ascorbic acid acetic acid it is retinol secondary metabolites are the substances required for the basic metabolic processes true or false it is false because they don't involve in basic metabolic processes which of the following was the first alkaloid to be found quinine atropine cularin morphine it is morphine okay so <clears throat> this is all about primary metabolites and secondary metabolites fine thank you thank you all